Whew. What a night. Nice little workout to end the night. Just want to thank a little bit and reflect on some things from, from today. And, uh, <clears throat> man, had some deep conversations today that really, have, they got to me in a way I hadn't been gotten to in a while. <laughs> and so I had to come on live and I, I just, I wanted to just ask everybody, you know, are you really living to your full potential? Are you really getting the most out of you? You know, after hearing some of the conversations I heard today, just thinking about, you know, how awesome these people are and hearing some of the words coming out of their mouths and how incredible, how incredibly talented they are, right? Like, I just want, I want to think about that. Like, how gifted are we? And how amazing we could be if we just let ourselves. Like, what would you do tomorrow if you knew for certain that your goals and dreams would happen if you just tried? If you just got out and said, I'm going to do it. How many of you would go do it? If you knew for certain, by making the call, you'd get the job. Just picking up the phone and saying, I want it. How many of us would do it? How many if we applied to medical school to become a doctor? If we knew we would graduate, for certain, how many of us would go to medical school? I mean, I talked to some individuals that have made a ton of money today in their lives, have done extraordinary things with their families. And hearing the mindset that they applied, it was no secret. Like, it wasn't magic. Didn't take a degree. It simply took principles that work for anybody of success in a relationship and entrepreneurship in their career fields what would we become if we really lived to our potential what could we accomplish if we just believed we could and I think of all of us that are living lives that are just beyond average and only because we don't try to do anything else you know, one of the things I heard from one of the most successful people I've talked to in a long time, he said, I don't care what you do in your life, you can dig ditches, but it better be the best ditch you've ever dug. And I remember telling my students that as a teacher 10, 15 years ago. How we live our lives, how we see ourselves matter. Now I read a book that says that faith, is based on action. And if there is no action, then there is no faith. So if you know you need to read the book, if you know you need to go to the class, take the course, get up and work out, run, eat right, if you know there are all these things that you could do to be the best you and you choose not to do them, is it because you don't have faith in yourself to be the very best you could be? What would you do if you were your absolute best today? If you made a point to be bet your best today and you woke up tomorrow and you got up and you were your best tomorrow and you did the same thing the next day and the next day and the next day and you look back 300 days from now, 350 days from now, a year from now, how much better would you be? How much better off would you be? How much closer to your dreams would you be? If you just took a step today. For all you who have children out there, would you ever let your children settle for not being their best? Would you ever let them go out to a game and just try halfway? 
But we give ourselves a pass. We allow ourselves not to fight for our dreams. And I got to wonder. What is it going to take for you to wake up and be your best you? When are you going to fight for your own dreams? When are you going to read the book? Take the course. I hope everybody listens to this because every one of you has the potential to try harder than you're trying right now to give a little more than you're giving because most of life, 90% of life is just showing up. The other 10% is up to you. It's in your control. Everything you've ever wanted, everything you need, everything you want to accomplish. The only challenge for most of you is it's outside of your comfort zone. It's not just going to happen for you. You got to make it happen. But the funny thing is, is you're already doing most of the work to get there. You're, you're missing the mark by just a little bit. Just a little bit. That's all it takes. You're already working hard enough to win. Work a little bit harder and reach excellence and you will have it. Read the books. Take the course. Find the friend. If every day you come home from work and you're comfortable, guys, you're not growing. If you're not stretching yourself some way every day, you are staying the same. And what doesn't grow will eventually die. Be the best version of yourself every single day. You don't have a goal. Write one down right now. That's a principle of success anyway. Most people who achieve goals set them. Get out a pen and paper and write something down you're going to go for. Get excited about being alive. There's a hundred things you can do and be better at. Don't just wake up every day, every day and go through the motions. Be the best version of you. And I promise you, you'll look back 10 years from now and you'll be so glad you did. Good luck on your journey. I wish you all the best. Talk to you soon.